So today I wanted to take time to show you all of the items that I picked up during the month of November. We did have a lot of great 4K releases, some still books, some um, um, boutique label releases. So today I wanted to show you what I picked up by week. So the first week, which of course we had five weeks in the month of November, which was outrageous. But first up, um, for the first week we got Piranha. This right here was the Scream Factory 4K release, the collector's edition. Really love the slipcover on this one. Um, from the Disney Movie Club, I did pick up this um, Christmas Classics 4 movie collection with all four of these films. Um, I actually have all of these films already except for A Christmas Carol, so it was worth getting just to be able to get A Christmas Carol um, on Blu-ray. And then the other um, Disney Movie Club exclusive was Aladdin with this new slipcover. This right here is for the 30th anniversary, but of course it includes the um, regular edition, the Signature Collection edition. So if you already have this then, and you don't care about slips, then there's no reason to pick this one up. We did get a lot of holiday classics, on 4K, um, got Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which I love. Another great one, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Frosty the Snowman. Holiday Inn. Elf. A Christmas Story. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is a favorite. And we got the Polar Express. Now we were supposed to get a still book for the Polar Express, which I believe got discontinued or canceled. So I did pick up the Zavi exclusive Polar Express still book, which I did an unwrapping of if you'd like to check that out. Another big release for the month was Top Gun Maverick. So I did get the still book with the, um, I guess, magnetic lenticular card. I think this might have been a Walmart exclusive. And then I got the two movie 4K collection. Um, really love the artwork on this one. Some other still books we got. We got um, The Running Man 4K still book. We got another um, still book for The Batman on 4K. New artwork. And we also got Starship Troopers on 4K. So another great one. A double two movie film um, we got on 4K was The Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, which I really like the slip. And for MVD Rewind, we got At Close Range. Um, a great film. I'm very glad to have that one in the collection. Okay, for the second week, um, we did get another still book release. We got one for Creed and Creed 2 from Zavi UK. I really like this double pack. Um, we got Most Dangerous Game. I'm not very familiar with this one. This right here is a Mill Creek title. And then from, um, from Criterion, we got The Power of the Dog on 4K. I really did enjoy that film. I did watch that as part of my 30 days of Criterion movies during the month of November. Um, we got Escape from Alcatraz from Kino Lorber on 4K, a great film. We also got Casablanca on 4K with this beautiful looking slipcover. And I did get the nice um, box set with the still book um, from Zavi UK. We also got the release for Saturday Night Fever on 4K with this really nice looking slipcover. We have Earth Girls Are Easy from Vestron, which I'm very happy that they're continuing the Vestron video line. Um, from Arrow, we got The Wolf of Wall Street. Another 4K release is 8 Mile with this nice looking slip. And we also got the um, Groove exclusive with the Stillbook. From Raven Banner, we got Turbo Kid. Really enjoy this film. Really like the packaging on the slipcover. And we also got Crabs from Raven Banner. One terrible crappy release that we got um, during the second week is this Saul release from Australia from Viavision Entertainment which came in damaged which I think a majority of everybody's came in damaged. Um, but it does have this really nice um, set um, of all the films in this th thick booklet. So very probably one of my um, most hated um, money wasters that I spent money on releases. It was terrible. But anyways, we'll go on to week three. So for week three, we did get a Zavi exclusive 8 Mile Limited Collector's Edition with all of these extras. 
plus that still book that I got from Groove Entertainment. So very happy to have this hard box edition. Um, I got Wicked One. Um, and I also got Son of the White Mare from Eureka Entertainment from the UK. Um, some steelbooks that we got, we have um, a Zavi UK exclusive for the Batman steelbook with different artwork, which I'm happy to have. And also we have the Reservoir Dogs 4K steelbook with the removable slipcover that looks really cool. Um, from Kino Lorber, I got Assassination. The Diamond Wizard in 3D. And the Veloci Papers. Then um, from Paramount Presents, we got Elvis um, in Blue Hawaii. This right here is a um, 4K release. And then we had this great release for Pearl with the Walmart exclusive slipcover, which I love the slip on this one, and just the regular slipcover. And we also have the 4K release um, with a slip for Reservoir Dogs, which is great. Okay, for week four, I did get um, The Dead Girl in Apartment 3, which I'm not very familiar with, but definitely wanted to check that one out. I also got 525.77. We got Pennywise, the story of it, with this beautiful looking slipcover. From Screen Factory, we got The Company of Wolves on 4K. I really like the slipcover on this one. From Criterion, we got Wally on 4K. Really loved this um, packaging and enjoyed watching this one um, from the Criterion collection. From MVD Rewind, we got Ski Patrol. From Eureka, I got The Dead and the Deadly. From Zavi UK, I got the Rambo Steelbook from Studio Canal. I did an unwrapping that if I did an unwrapping of that if you want to check it out. From second sight, I got boiling point. Really nice addition with a hard box. And from Studio Canal, I got the trial on 4K with Anthony Perkins. Some other 4K releases we got is Shrek 2 with a slip. Puss in Boots with a slip. IP or Ip Ip Man with a slip and Ip Man 2 with a slip. So very happy to have those. From Kino Lorber, we got the Blood Beast Terror with a slip. We have High Plains Drifter starring um, none other than Clint Eastwood on 4K. We have the Mystery Men on 4K. And we have Night Gallery Season 3. So very happy to have all those from Kino Lorber. Okay, for week five, I got the Green Knight 4K edition from A24. Really happy to have this one in the collection. I love getting these book style packaging from A24, so very happy to have that one in the collection. I got Our Christmas. I got The Evil That Men Do from Shout Factory. I got the French Noir collection from Kino Lorber. We have Emily the Criminal with a slip. Ghost Season 1 with a slip. We have Detective Knight Rogue with um, Bruce Willis. And then lastly, we have the Arrow release, 4K steelbook release for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, which is a great film. So very happy to have this in the collection. So those are the titles that I picked up during the month of November. Very happy that I was able to get all of these. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. And also let me know some of the titles that you picked up that maybe I was missing. Because I really do enjoy reading your um, comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.